This is three reasons why I actually think you shouldn't buy the Canon R6 Mark II. I first want to say that I absolutely love this camera. It is my favourite camera and I'm so, so happy I have brought it. And I do think it is one of the most perfect cameras for many photographers and videographers at this price range. And I really don't think you can go wrong if you do buy this camera. I will recommend this camera to so, so many people. However, I will not recommend it to absolutely everybody. And that is basically what this video is all about. I don't think the camera's bad at all. There is just a small group of people that I don't think this camera is for. Not every camera is the perfect camera and this is the perfect example of it. Even though it's perfect for so many people, it's not perfect for everyone. So this will actually lead me on to my first point and that is actually the megapixel count. The Canon R6 Mark II has a 24 4.2 megapixel sensor and 24 megapixels is more than enough than anyone in 2023. Some say it actually might be the perfect megapixel count because it's not too high so the file sizes aren't ridiculously big. But obviously it's not too low so it don't have any details in it at all. It's like the perfect middle ground of megapixels. However with it being 24.2 megapixels it actually might not appeal to many photographers out there especially ones who are landscape photographers and also product photographers mainly. This is because a camera with more megapixels is probably going to be more beneficial to them than obviously a lower one so for landscape photographers for example they're trying to capture as much detail in the image as possible and obviously more megapixels will give you more detail and more better image quality they also might want to once they've took a wide angle shot for example or even a couple of telephoto shots they might want to crop in onto that photo to find different compositions of the landscape where they're currently at and they might be able to find let's say two or three photos within that one photo that they took so that's why a higher megapixel count is actually better because it gives you the room to crop in without losing any detail whatsoever. And also with product photographers, you're trying to make that product stand out so much. So you want that picture to have as much detail as possible and by shooting with a higher megapixel camera, for example, the Canon R5 with its 45 megapixel sensor, it would just be a lot better because at the end of the day, you want to make the product look as good as possible. And again, if they want to crop in to find a better composition or just maybe get a little bit tighter on one photo, then they obviously can without losing any detail whatsoever. I'm not saying this camera is terrible for them, they can definitely use the Canon R6 Mark II to shoot landscapes and to also to shoot product photography. I'll be doing both of them as well with this camera and I'm sure I'm going to get some amazing results with it because it is an amazing camera. However, if you're a top, top professional landscaper or pro product photographer, you might be better off using the Canon R5 for example, just because you want more detail in your photos. If you're enjoying yourself so far, why not hit that subscribe button? It will really help me out as I'm so close to that 1000 subscribers now. So if you really can just press that subscribe button for me, that'll be absolutely much appreciated. The second reason why I don't think you should buy the Canon R6 Mark II is actually because of the video side of this camera. Now I know this sounds stupid because I did make a video saying how good the video in the Canon R6 Mark II actually is and I still stand by that. I still think this is an amazing video camera especially for the price. However if you're a top top professional videographer or cinematographer you're not really going to want to buy the Canon R6 Mark II mainly because of these reasons. And that is because this camera does not shoot in the all eye codec. It only shoots in IPB or an even more compressed version of IPB which basically means the camera is just compressing the video file and you're not going to be able to get as much detail as you would normally get shooting in all eye because all eye just basically pre preserves all of the detail in the actual video and it just has better image quality overall in all eye so if you do want that all eye codec then you shouldn't really get the R6 Mark II the Canon R5 does have an R all eye codec so if you want an all eye codec maybe the R5 is something that you should look at. Also on the Canon R5 it has the 4K 120 frames per second whereas this camera don't have 4K 120. It does go up to 180 frames per second in full HD but if you do want that super slow mo in 4K you're going to have to get the R5 unfortunately because this camera does not shoot in 4K 120. Another bad thing on the video side for the Canon R6 Mark II is that it only shoots in C-Log 3 for the log mode and and basically, even though I said earlier that it, one of the benefits that this camera can do is shooting in C-Log3, 10-bit 422 in 4K, it's also one of the downsides of it because Canon are actually restricting you from using their best log profile because their best log profile is C-Log2 and the Canon R6 Mark II does not shoot in C-Log2. So if you're going to want the best dynamic range and just the best performance overall and get as much image detail in the highlights and shadows as possible, then the Canon R6 Mark II might not be for you. And if you actually want the best of the best video quality, you're actually probably going to want to look towards a cinema camera because their cinema cameras are the only cameras that actually provide C-Log2. So you might want to be looking at something like the C70 because that will produce such a better image quality for video than the Canon R6 Mark II. Another thing that I've noticed recently, it's not got the best shadow performance so you may actually want to overexpose a little bit by a stop or two just so you don't avoid loads of noise 
in the actual shadows when you are shooting, which obviously comes back to C-Log 3, and if you had C-Log 2, it might not be such of an issue. And the third reason why I don't think you should buy the Canon R6 Mark II is because of the audio performance of this camera. Now, I'm not saying it's because the internal microphone is terrible and you should buy another camera because that internal microphone is better. I'm not saying that at all because all internal microphones on cameras are absolutely terrible and you should avoid using them at all costs. Basically, what I'm saying is that to be able to get the best audio possible, you're not going to be able to get that with the Canon R6 Mark II unless you record it separately using an external recorder because the Canon R6 Mark II does not have any XLR ports. So if you want to use a shotgun mic like the NTG4 for example, which has an XLR port, you won't be able to plug it into the camera unless you get an XLR to microphone jack cable, which is obviously not the best scenario. You'd rather just have it built in and obviously that way you're gonna to have to get another cable and it's just overall probably not the best audio quality using it that way either so you will actually have to record it externally and then sync it up in post which is obviously not the worst way to do it i mean i do that sometimes with my mt usb so like i said if you do want to use a shotgun mic or like a lavalier mic that has an xlr port you're probably gonna have to do it externally because this camera don't have any xlr ports at all unlike the fx3 which is obviously a cinema camera so it's expected the FX3 does have XLR ports, so you will be able to use them top of the line professional audio with your FX3, for example, and actually have it all in one place so the actual recordings go straight onto the camera instead of recording externally. So again, this comes back to if you're a top of the line professional videographer or cinematographer, because if you want the best of the best video quality and the best of the best audio quality, then the Canon R6 Mark II might not be the camera for you. I actually really struggled finding three reasons to actually not buy the Canon R6 Mark II because it is one of the best cameras I've ever used and I do think it's perfect for so many people out there. Not all cameras are perfect and the R6 Mark II does show that because if it was a perfect camera, it would be right for absolutely everybody. However, at this price, I do think it's perfect for people on a budget or even for some professionals who actually are videographers, cinematographers and photographers because I do think this camera is capable of so much. However, if you are a top of the top of the line production company or you want to get into more of a professional video side, then you might have to look at something like the Canon C70 or other cinema cameras to get that best dynamic range, best image quality and also best audio without recording audio externally. For photography, I do think it's one of the best photography cameras out there. I really don't think you can go wrong, even if you are a landscape or product photographer, like I mentioned earlier. It's just, again, if you're a top of the line professional and you want the most megapixels possible, then this camera is probably not for you. And I do actually think the Canon R6 Mark II is one of the best photo video hybrid cameras on the market. And if you do buy it, I really do think you'll be absolutely so happy with your purchase because it is such a great camera. And if you actually want to see five reasons why I actually do think the Canon R6 Mark II is one of the best cameras on the market, then make sure you watch this video here next to actually see five reasons why this camera is so good and how it does actually crush the Sony a7 IV in my opinion. So if you're on the fence whether to get the Sony a7 IV or the Canon R6 Mark II, watch that video next to actually see why I actually think the Canon R6 Mark II is the camera to go for.